Facebook friends. How's it all going? Okay, pardon the location. I am currently in my um, hotel jacuzzi bath, just chilling out, getting a bit of bubbles before we move on on our um, tour around New Zealand. Um, Alexander's still in the hotel next door in the room and she's doing a bit of self developing. And I just had a thought in my head. I remember all those years ago, um, I used to self develop a lot. And Alexander used to go, um, What you listen to that rubbish for? Blah, blah, blah. And now here she is. Um, we both do. We both self develop each and every day. And I was just thinking that if Alexander didn't self develop like, um, like I did, um, then we'd probably be totally two different people. We'd probably want different things and we'll probably be at different stages in our life and we'll probably understand things differently from each other. Because when you're an entrepreneur and when you have your own business, you kind of grow as a person. And we've grown together. So we both want the same things. Um, we both believe in the same things. We both have the same morals, um, thanks to the self-development we've done. So, your husband or wife might not be involved in your business, which is absolutely fine, you know? We, when people like to do different things, which is absolutely fine. A majority of people, you know, I am the we are the minority of like we working together. But as people, you know, make sure you self develop. Both of you, make sure you go the same go the same direction as each other. You know, you don't want to leave them behind. You don't want to. My kind of look on life since I've been running businesses for the last eight years has totally changed. Okay. I am 30 years of age and I have grown so much as a person, not just because I've grown up, but because I've self-developed and because um, I've read on how to be successful, what to do to be successful, um, tricks, learn from mistakes. So I have grown as a person and I would say I'm a wiser owl than I was back then. And some people can stay at that stage and you don't want to leave your partner behind because you want to live a happy marriage with your children if you have children and you want to be one of the same things in life. So yeah, they may pull their faces in the signs of self-developing, but stick on an audio CD. Talk about the importance of, you know, you want them to be a part of your business. They don't have to be a part of your business, but they want you want them to support your business and you want them to grow with you and grow and be successful with you. So that's my tip for today, to help you and your partner be on the same direction, to be want the same things and to live a happy life. Get them self-developing. Get them working on themselves and get yourself working on yourselves. Lead by example. Take the lead in that like I did with Alexandra and they will follow. It might be tough at first, but they will follow. So that's my tip for today. Scott giving a bit of marriage guidance there. <clears throat> I am also a marriage guidance counselor. I am not really. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And I'm still on. It's probably not